Um, today for our practice, um, in the physical focus, I wanted to move in the direction of dolphin. Um, so a lot of like shoulder stabilizing core engagement and then hamstring opening. Um, dolphin is that like hybrid between like a forearm plank and our down dog. And then, um, for our focus point for heart and mind, um, I've had a very interesting like week or so and, um, it seems like each day has been had like one really big hurdle in it um, and last night I just was sitting in my little reading room and I looked at the bookshelf and uh, decided just to pick up this book um, 101 essays that will change the way you think and I flipped open to where my bookmark was and read and it felt pretty fitting and so this uh, chapter, it says uncomfortable feelings that actually indicate you're on the right path. And just a little intro to this is what I wanted to share. It says discomfort is what happens when we are on the precipice of change. Unfortunately, we often confuse it for unhappiness and cope with the latter while running from the former. It usually takes a big discomfort to break through to a new understanding, to release a limiting belief, to motivate ourselves to create real change. Discomfort is a signal, one that is often very helpful. Um, and I think that's something that takes on learning to recognize that just because something is uncomfortable, it doesn't mean that it's bad. Right? Um, discomfort is necessary when we are in those spaces of growth and evolution, because when we're in something that's familiar and comfortable, we're, we already know that space, right? Um, when we start to push the edge of that into something new, into new territory, um, it's going to be uncomfortable because we're in a space we haven't been in. Um, and this practice is one that can help anchor us amidst that. Right? We have our body and we have our breath and we have the familiarity of shapes while also exploring newness of the different ways of moving across the mat and then also the fact that each day the shapes themselves might feel a little bit different so it's that perfect blend of like familiar and new so that when life outside <laughs> passes as something new we have the practice here already as a reflection of that um anyhow so discomfort is sometimes super helpful and we know that from when we're like strengthening our bodies right a dolphin pose is not always the most comfortable experience um but it does make us stronger yeah it helps us to connect to our breath more intimately because it is challenging so we're going to start just in a seat for the beginning of our time together so go ahead and find a comfortable seat perhaps it's cross-legged or you can sit on your shins or a yoga block and as you start to find your way into your seat, right away, let your eyes drop shut. So you can really begin to turn your awareness inward to all the subtle sensations within your body today, to the sensations of each breath in and each breath out. As you begin to notice sensation also start the process of deepening your breath. And clearing your mind. With each passing breath, arriving a little bit more completely to this moment right here, right now. To your practice and this time that you've set aside to be in your body, to be connected to your breath. And as you continue to feel, inhale in and exhale out. That expansion and contraction, the rise and fall of your breath. Notice any areas of your body that feel a little bit sticky, stuck, tense or tight. those physical barriers in our bodies. 
And we offer a couple rounds of breath to those spaces specifically. Recognizing that those sensations are a form of communication from our physical vessel. They offer us information. And oftentimes we're too distracted to notice those sensations and that information. Just how when we're moving through life and challenges arise, oftentimes we only see the challenge as, as the challenge itself versus what's underneath that challenge and the opportunity for growth that it presents. And so for these 60 minutes, really allowing ourselves to go a little bit deeper, to dive beneath the surface, to see what's underneath, and we're willing to look a little bit further. As you continue to notice sensation and deepen your breath, let maybe one or both hands arrive to your heart space. Perhaps offering the intention of embracing the difficult moments, trusting that on the other side there is growth, that we will be a stronger, more expansive version of ourselves. Holding that intention in our hearts and our minds as we move and breathe this morning. We'll take just one cleansing breath all together. So a deep inhale in, fill all the way up. When you're ready, open mouth, exhale to release. Starting to release your hands, go ahead and start to shift into your tabletop pose. So finding all fours. You shift into your tabletop. Maybe take a moment just to find some organic wiggles, taking your hips side to side or shifting a little bit forwards and backwards. And then you can continue to just move on your own or with your next breath in, start to find your cow pose. Begin to lift up through your heart, your tailbone, let your belly drop. And exhale, tucking through your tailbone and your chin, push the earth away. Really allow your shoulder blades to spread wide. Then two more cycles like this. We'll inhale to cow. Perhaps your gaze slightly lifts as well in this next cycle. And exhale to your cat pose. Front ribs draw in as you press the earth away. The last cycle here, deep breath in to find cow. And exhale, press and round to your cat. I'm starting to come back to neutral. Go ahead and tuck your toes, take a big breath in, and exhale to your downward facing dog. Right away, starting to feel into the lengths of your hamstrings, the power of your arms. Take a really, really slow pedal, reaching one heel towards the earth, and then super slowly switching to reach your opposite heel towards your yoga mat. Big push away through your arms, spinning the length across your side bodies through your armpits. And release and relax through your head. Begin to walk it forward into your forward fold. Taking your time so you can feel your hamstrings opening along the way. And as you arrive, knees can soften a little bit here. Really relax your belly towards or maybe all the way to your thighs. You can let your head hang heavy and then start to shift a little bit forwards and backwards across the soles of your feet. With some softness in your knees, next time you lean a little bit forward and down, pause there. Keep that forward, downward energy and then start to lift your sitting bones towards the sky. Tailbone lifts tall, head stays heavy. 
noticing how you can create a big stretch of the backs of your legs without having to straighten your legs out. Now keep leaning forward, keep lifting through your tailbone, then inhale to lift halfway, continuing to extend towards the top of your yoga mat. And your exhale forward, full release. Deep breath in, we'll rise all the way to stand, Urdhva Hastasana, circle, sweep your hands up high, finding your inhale. And your exhale, slight back bend, keeping your hands overhead, just trying to lift through your sternum. Think about stretching your fingertips slightly towards that wall behind you. And take one more big breath in. On exhale, swan dive forward, spread your wings wide, maybe soften your knees and slowly hinge at, <clears throat> excuse me, hinge at your hips to your forward fold. We'll take our halfway lift, big breath in. And your exhale, step your left foot to the back of your yoga mat, finding your low lunge. Left knee is going to lower to a hover or maybe all the way to the ground. Just take one big breath in here. Send your heart forward and through your biceps. On exhale, lift your back knee and lengthen both your legs, finding your hamstring stretch. Taking an extra moment here, you can explore reaching your left heel towards the earth or coming high to your left to be toes, shifting a little more energy into your right foot. Feel free to add a little pulse up and down with your left heel. You can choose to have your right foot grounded or you can start to flex your right toes towards your face. Okay, you can find a combination of these two. So it can be left heel low, right toes high, or it can be left heel high, right toes high. Okay, exploring the different varieties of sensation there. When you feel complete here, start to bend into your right knee and find your high plank pose. Press the earth away, step your right foot back with intention. <clears throat> really push into your hands, feeling the engagement around your shoulder, shoulder, shoulder girdle. Oh my gosh, words are hard this morning. Take one breath in, and one breath out. As we inhale, we're gonna shift forward towards our tippy toes. The knees up or down, take your time to really slowly lower to your belly. Minding that space between your shoulders and your ears as you lower it down. Untuck your toes, anchor down to the tops of your feet, pressing your toenails into the earth, thighs are super strong, and then inhale to your low cobra. Good, on exhale, hover your hands, stretch your elbows back and towards the midline, lengthening to the neck. Find a big breath in, squeezing the strength along your spine. And think about using that strength along your spine to exhale back to your belly release. In our second round, you can choose low cobra or high cobra. As you inhale, you might lift up just using the strength of your spine. If you're going to high cobra, lead with the strength of your spine and then facilitate just a little bit with your hands. So allowing that strength along your spine to be the primary, primary engagement for your lift. Shoulders are out of the ears. You're squeezing your shoulder blades back in together. Take one more breath in. And just like before, the strength of your back body is the energy to lower you down to the earth. Okay, our last round here, low cobra, high cobra, or you could choose upward facing dog. On your inhale, start to find your heart opening. Strong legs, strong core, and as we exhale, downward facing dog hips go up and back. And take a big breath in. And open mouth, exhale, release. Inhale, heels rise high. As you exhale, bend your knees, and then step or hop to the top of your yoga mat, forward fold. We'll inhale to lift up halfway, lean forward, tailbone lifts as you extend, and exhale forward, full release. Rising all the way to stand, earn Bahasasana, take that big breath in. Maybe palms touch overhead this time. On your exhale, slight, slight back bend. 
Think about this less as just going back. Think about lifting your heart up to the sky. Find your inhale. And exhale, swan dive forward. Option to soften your knees as you hinge at your hips. With a big breath in, lengthen halfway. On exhale, step your right foot to the back of your yoga mat. Right knee can hover or lower all the way to the ground. And really lengthen the front line of your body. Extend your heart forward. Full breath in. And then we'll exhale to our hamstring stretch. Lift your back knee, lengthen both legs, adjusting your feet as needed. And then first starting with that up and down. See so your back heel, maybe right heel reaching towards the earth. Maybe you shift into your right to be toes and press strongly down to the sole of your left foot. Again, you can take a couple of rounds, lifting and lowering through your right heel. Option to flex your left toes to your face. To play with different combinations here. Feel your left thigh bone sliding up and back the whole time. And as you start to feel complete here, you're gonna bend into your left knee. Bend your high plank pose, slow and strong left foot steps back. Uh, take an inhale to shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway or all the way. Breath into up dog or cobra. And our breath out takes us back to downward facing dog, hips to the sky. As you push the earth away, deep breath in. And then open mouth, exhale, release. On your inhale, lift to your tippy toes. Then as you exhale, cat spine forward to your high plank. So big push through your hands as you roll to stack your shoulders over your wrists. Do you find your high plank zipping up through your core? Take an inhale. On your exhale, hover your right leg into a one-legged plank. So right leg is floating, core is strong, your glutes are strong. Slowly push back, three-legged dog, right leg to the sky, big breath in. As you exhale, step your right foot forward to the top of your yoga mat. And then right away, lengthen both of your legs for your hamstring stretch. Maybe add the flex of your right toes towards your face. If you want to deepen this, keeping your right leg long, you're gonna to start to bend your left knee towards a hover. So it's like a hovering half split. You're dragging your right heel back as you take one more breath here. We're gonna bend into our front knee and shift into a gentle standing split, left leg towards the sky, big breath in. And exhale. Cross-legged forward fold. Soften both of your knees as you cross your left ankle behind your right. Pinky toes do not need to be in alignment. Knees can bend as much as they want to. Rest your belly towards your thighs. Really try to let your upper body melt, head heavy. Take one breath in and one exhale. Find a slight halfway lift. It's not like a halfway lift, I guess. It's just like a little extension of the heart space. And then we're gonna place our left hand to the top of our yoga mat. You can also place your left hand to a block. This next piece can be a little bit wobbly, so really hug through your inner thighs. And then as you reach your right hand to the sky, squeeze through your inner thighs, big breath in. So that's gonna be the biggest twist as we exhale, right hand is gonna to go to the earth or to your yoga block. And then same thing, we're gonna twist, reach your left hand towards the sky, big breath in. As you exhale, release. Unwind your legs to your regular forward fold. And then inhale to lift up halfway. We'll exhale to our chair pose, hips sink back and down. And a big lift through your heart and hands. I'm noticing here as you lift your hands to the sky, how that also strengthens the space around your shoulders. But your sitting bone reaching back and down, weight heavy in your heels. Take an extra breath in 
And then exhale, forward fold. We'll lift up halfway. On breath out, we're gonna step our right foot to the back of our yoga mat. So your right foot steps back, plant your right palm to the earth and find your twist, reach your left hand to the sky. Now we're gonna focus on controlling our step back to our side plank. So start to look down at the earth, the top of your yoga mat. You're gonna to start to spin towards the outside edge of your right foot first. Then from there, use your core, lift your hips, push the earth away. And as smoothly as you can, left foot steps back, side plank, Vashi Stasana. Lengthening your heart forward, hips high, take a big breath in. And exhale, high plank, slowly bring it to center. We'll inhale to shift forward. Knees up, right down, exhale all the way to your belly this time. Untuck your toes. And then we're gonna lift up into our Sphinx pose. So bring your elbows to stack underneath your shoulders. Forearms are two strong parallel lines. And then push down through your elbows, press through your palm, even push through your fingertips. As you press the earth away to boost your heart up, think about dragging your elbows towards your hips to encourage your heart space forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other to open your collarbones wide. Feeling the strength along your spine, take another breath or two. Keep pressing down and pulling forward. One more inhale. Then as we exhale, belly down, Shavasana, elbows go wide, stack your hands for your forehead. Take one breath down into your belly. And then we're gonna keep our forehead resting on the backs of our hands and we're gonna lift our chest away from the earth. So your hands, your head, your chest will all lift together. Take a breath in, exhale to lift. Right, so your forehead is resting on the backs of your hands. You're lifting that whole upper body unit away from the ground. Elbows are wide and high. You're squeezing that space between your shoulder blades. Try to keep the length of the nape of your neck. Height is not what we're concerned about. We're thinking about engagement. Take one more big breath in, strong through your legs and core. And exhale to release. Hands return by your low ribs. As you inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. As you exhale, downward facing dog, hips go up and back. Good. We'll take an inhale to lift our heels up high. Exhale, slowly roll forward to your high plank pose, pushing the earth away as you go. Pause, take a big breath in. And exhale, lift your left leg to your one-legged plank. Long and strong through your left leg, press back, three-legged dog, left leg to the sky as your inhale. And step your left foot forward as you exhale. Lengthen through your legs, find your hamstring stretch. Maybe start to flex your left toes to the sky. Option to add the hover of your right knee, so bending your right knee and dropping your right knee towards the earth, but you're hovering half split. Take one breath in and one breath out. We'll shift forward into our left foot, gentle standing splits without momentum. Press through your left foot and float your right toes high. Take a big inhale. As we exhale, cross legged forward fold, right ankle goes behind your left. Melting your belly towards your thighs, head relaxes. Okay. Feel the four corners of both your feet grounded. Take one breath in and one breath out. And a little extension through your spine. So it's like a maybe a quarter way lift. We're going to place our right hand to the earth at the front or to a yoga block. Squeeze your core and your legs. Twist your left hand towards the sky. Again, it doesn't have to be a really big twist. Take an inhale. And switching arms, exhale, left hand to the earth or block. Twist your right hand to the sky. One breath in. And exhale, release. 
Unwind your legs to your regular forward fold. Feet side by side, we'll lift up halfway on inhale. To find your chair pose on your exhale, bend deeply into your knees first, reaching your hips back and down, and then lift your heart and hands. Really think about stretching your hip creases to the back edge of your yoga mat. Squeezing your thighs together, strong through your shoulder girdle. Take one more big breath in. On exhale, we forward fold release. Inhale to lift up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, step your left foot to the back of your yoga mat. Left palm's gonna plant, twist to your right hand to the sky. I want you to look forward at the earth at the top of your yoga mat. To find that smooth transition to our side plank, we're gonna start to turn our toes to the right, kind of like our horizon lunge. As you bring the outside edge of your left foot to the earth, slowly step your right foot back. Opening through your chest, big breath in. As you're ready, high plank with control, we resist gravity as we bring it through our center. On your plank, Use an inhale to slide forward. Then use the entire length of your exhale to lower to your belly. Untucking your toes. Sphinx pose, lock your elbows forward. Do you find your sphinx? Take a big breath in, draw your chest forward and through. And then as you breathe out, you have the option to stay here or maybe find your forearm plank. Use your exit to tuck your toes and zip up through your front line to lift your hips. You can also be in a forearm plank with your knees on the ground. So finding the version that feels good to you this morning. We'll take two more cycles of breath here. Slow ujjayi, inhale, keep pressing the earth away. Slow ujjayi, exhale. One more big breath in. And then exhale back to your sphinx. If you'd like to find that you're on steel pose, you can press through your palms, maybe start to lift your elbows away from the earth, pulling your heart forward and through. Big breath in. And exhale, belly down, Shavasana, elbows go wide. Stack your forehead on the backs of your hands. Take your inhale and take your exhale. Just like before, forehead and the backs of our hands stay connected. On your breath in, lift that whole unit together away from the earth. Again, prioritizing the length of your spine. Shoulders are out of ears. And you feel that energy at the back of your heart space for one more breath in. And exhale, release. Hands back by your low ribs. Press back to a child's pose. Reach your hips to your heels. And just take one breath in. And one breath out. You start to shift forward into your tabletop pose. We're gonna take one more big layer of standing flow, but I wanna take a little thread the needle action before we get there. Planning through your left palm, use your inhale to twist your right hand to the sky. Really press the back of your right hand to the wall behind you. Then breath out, thread your needle, dive your right arm underneath your body, and release the right side of your skull to the earth. Shoulders out of ears, we're gonna really root down to the back of the right arm. Option for your left hand to stretch forward. You can stay here and be moving your hips a little side to side. If you want to, you can root down through your right arm, get strong through your right leg, and start to send your left toes either to the back of your yoga mat, or with your left leg nice and long and strong, you can start to lift your left leg into the air. You can also do this with your left hand framing your face instead of having your left hand reaching forward. And take one more big breath in. On exhale, if your left knee is lifted, super slowly use your core to place your left knee to the ground, resisting gravity as left knee lowers. 
Return your left hand to frame your face if you reached it forward. And then inhale, twist open again to the right, right hand to the sky. And exhale, return to your tabletop pose. Breath in, cow, lift your heart, lift your tailbone. Exhale, cat, press and curl. We'll come back to neutral. Right hand plants firmly, twist your left hand to the sky, find that really big breath in, spread your collarbones open. And then exhale, thread your needle, left arm's gonna dive underneath. Little wiggle of the hips. Decide if you want to reach your right hand forward or keep it by your face. Then starting to get strong with your belly. Maybe your right toes go to the back of your yoga mat. Or with your right leg long and strong, you might use your core to start to float your right leg up into the air. Shoulders out of ears, you're strengthening your stabilizers here. Take one more big breath in. On exhale, how slowly can you release your right knee back to the ground? When right knee returns, right hand frames your face. We inhale, twist it open. And exhale, tabletop. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes, press your hips up and back. Again, really release your neck and shoulders, relax your head. Okay, from here, we'll inhale, heels rise high just like before. Exhale, roll forward to your high plank, patting your spine as you shift to your plank pose. Take a big breath in. Exhale, one-legged plank, right leg floats. Inhale to your three-legged dog, push the earth away. Breath out, we'll step your right foot forward. And then go ahead and lean into your right foot, standing splits, left leg to the sky, take a big breath in. On exhale, one time Shiva squat, we're gonna slowly bend through our knees, sink your hips back and down, and start to peek your heart forward. Pull your navel to your spine. If you want to, for a breath, press through your right foot, bring your hands to heart center. Think about lifting your chest off of your right thigh. Hands are no hands, standing splits, and your left leg to the sky, take a big breath in. And exhale, we're going towards our high crescent lunge. Step your left toes to the back of your yoga mat with control. Once your feet are grounded, then press through your feet, high crescent, deep breath in. On your exhale, goddess to your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together, really puff your heart up to the sky. Take an extra inhale here. On your exhale, you're gonna bring your forearms to tap in front of you. So you're gonna rotate your palms to face your face. The pinky edges of your hands are pressing together. Elbows squeeze together. As you look up at your palms, really squeeze that pinky edge of your arms. Shoulders are out of ears. Upward through your elbows. If you wanna add a slight back bend here, you can do that here as well. Take your inhale. Stay for exhale. Breath into your high crescent, just reach your hands up. As you breathe out, go back into your goddess arms. Okay, what we're gonna do here is from your goddess arms, you're gonna internally rotate. So think palms are going forward and down and then your palms are facing the back of the room. And you're gonna bring the backs of your hands to your booty cheeks. So what this looks like from the front, so I went from goddess arms, Flip my palms down, backs of my hands to my glutes. From the back, it looks like this. Okay, once you have to the backs of your hands, kind of on your upper glutes, you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together. Think about squeezing shoulder blades together and you're pressing the heads of your shoulders forward. So we're trying to get a big stretch through the shoulders. So again, we're squeezing shoulder blades together and then pressing the heads of your shoulders forward. You're pressing the backs of your hands gently into your seat. And then when you are ready, we'll inhale back to our high crescent lunge once again. We're gonna exhale into a warrior two, let your left heel rotate down, adjust your feet as needed. 
Breath in to reverse. Right hand reaches high. On your breath out, go back into your warrior two. We're going to windmill down into a twisted low lunge facing the right side of our yoga mat. Start to reach your left hand up overhead. Your right hand is going to reach down and back. As you windmill your left hand to the earth, your right hand's going to the sky and you're unhooking your left heel. Twisted low lunge, the same place you were a little bit ago. Looking down at the earth, push the earth away, side plank. So to turn and step your right foot back. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale to your high plank pose. And then on your inhale, shift it forward. Exhale to your belly with control. Untuck your toes. Press up to your sphinx. Root through your elbows. Pull your shoulder blades together, opening your chest. Big breath in. Option to stay here. Otherwise, we're going to start to find our way into our dolphin. On your out breath, you're going to tuck your toes. Lift your hips and start to walk your feet in as you lift your hips to the sky like downward facing dog. You're hugging your upper arm bones to center. Imagine you're squeezing a yoga block between your biceps. And as you hug to the midline with your upper arm bones, push down and forward through your forearms through your elbows. Relaxing your head, keep pushing the earth away. Your core lifts your tailbone to the sky. Good, we're squeezing in, we're pushing down and forward. Take two more cycles of breath. You can have softness in your knees here, just like in downward facing dog. When you're ready, drop your knees down to the ground. Sit up onto your shin bone. Setting up for a baby camel moment. You can untuck your toes or have your toes tucked. We're gonna to inhale to reach our hands high. Gentle press of your hips forward, just reach your hands up and over. Head a little bit, the slightest baby back bend. As you exhale, you're gonna swing your right hand back in space, reaching towards your right heel. If you'd rather have your toes tucked to bring your heel a little bit closer, that is definitely available. Take an inhale. On your exhale, use your core to slowly bring you up, right hands to heart center. And breath in. Maybe open mouth, exhale, release. Okay, inhale, both hands go high. Maybe find a little back bend as you exhale. Again, this is really slight. This is more just like a lift of the heart, breath in. You can always stay here, or as you exhale, you're gonna swim your left hand back in space. Strong core. You can hinge back at your kneecaps a little bit. So you're using the knee joint to hinge back and create that connection of left hand towards left heel. Really reach through your heart, your right fingertips, take a breath in. You're kicking your shin bones down into the ground. Your belly is so strong as you bring yourself upright. Well, take an inhale. Maybe open mouth, exhale. And really zip up through your front arm. Tuck your tailbone towards the backs of your knees. Kick your shin bones into the earth and hinge at the diagonal. This is a big, big engagement through the quads. Take two cycles of breath. Keep zipping up through your front line, tucking your tailbone to the backs of your knees. When you're ready, Release, shift forward through your tabletop pose. Okay, we have second side of that little standing bit, and then we're gonna bring it to the earth and deep stretch. So, downward facing dog. Here we go. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, relax your head. <laughs> Take a big breath in, heels rise high. Exhale, roll forward to your high plank, pressing the earth away as you shift. Pause, take your inhale. Left leg floats, one legged plank is your exhale. Three legged dog, push the earth away, big breath in. Left foot steps forward, breath out. 
Standing splits, lean into your left foot, reach your right toes to the sky, take your inhale. Shiva squat one time is our exhale. At the bottom, option to bring hands to heart center for a moment, finding that little balance challenge. Into your standing splits, deep breath in. Setting up for your high crescent lunge, slowly reach your right toes to the back of your yoga mat. Once your feet are grounded, press to your feet, we inhale all the way up. And exhale, goddess arms, really draw your shoulders out of your ears. Think about pressing the backs of your arms to the wall behind you. Find that inhale. Exhale, pinky edges of your forearms come to kiss in front of your face. Think about widening your shoulder blades here as you squeeze the outside edges of your arms together. You want to add that slight little back bend here. You can take one more cycle of breath. Inhale, press it, reach your hands high first. Exhale, goddess arms. This is where we're going to do that internal rotation. So start to flip your palms, bringing the backs of your hands to your upper booty cheeks. <laughs> Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Pressing the backs of your hands into your glutes, start to push the heads of your shoulders forward. Heads of the shoulders go forward, we're squeezing elbows to the back, shoulder blades in. Backs of the hands are anchors. Take one more inhale. And one more exhale. When you're ready, high crescent lunge, deep breath in. Warrior two, we exhale open. From your warrior two, take an inhale to reverse, reach your left hand up and over. With our breath out, we're gonna windmill all the way into our twisted low lunge to face the left side of the room. So right hand's gonna sweep overhead, left hand's gonna bypass the earth. As you spin onto your right toes, your left hand continues that circle. Feel strong here, we're gonna look down at the earth. Side plank to face the left side of the room. Start to turn onto the outside edge of your right foot. So you can find that smooth step backwards. Take a big breath in. High plank poses your breath out. Inhale shifts you forward. Exhale to your belly. Untucking your toes. Breathe into a low or high full breath. And breath out to release. We're gonna take our gecko pose to rinse out the shoulders. Hands go wide, fingertips to the earth. Elbows are lifting over your wrists, shoulders out of ears. Inhale to press the earth away. Lift your heart up any amount. On your breath out, dip your left shoulder towards the center and twist your gaze over to the right. Shoulders out of ears. We inhale up through center, shoulders continue to pull away from the ears. Exhale, second side, right shoulder dips in, look to the left. And inhale, lift and lengthen through the midline one last time. And then as you exhale, come up, pulling your ribcage forward as you lower it down. Hands by your low ribs. Press back into your child's pose. Hips go towards your heels. One big breath in. And slow breath out. Rising up again. We're going to start to bring our legs out in front of us. Okay. Go ahead and scooch forward so you have enough room to lay backwards. Flexing your feet into the earth, use your core to sit up tall. Your heels are driving down and isometrically pulling towards your seat. Think about using your core to drag your heels 
towards your booty cheeks. But then inhale, stretch your hands up to the sky, big breath. On exhale, we're gonna lower back about halfway, starting to send our hands out in front of us like we're holding a platter. Right. You don't have to go back super far here. You're just finding that sweet spot where you feel that really strong catch to your core. Flip your palms to face up, plug your shoulders in, take an inhale. We're going to take this platter and we're going to start to twist it to the left on exhale. Front ribs draw in, navel to spine, heels grounded. Option to spread your left arm back towards that back left corner of your yoga mat, spreading open through your chest. Take an inhale, and then exhale back through center. Big breath in, exhale, that platter goes over to the right. You can stay right here, or once you've reactivated through your core, navel to spine, maybe start to send your right arm towards the back and spread your collarbones open. From here, both hands go forward, big breath in, and exhale, lower all the way down using the strength of your center. As you are to the earth, take a full body stretch with your in-breath. And then exhale, knees to chest. Happy baby pose, hands maybe to the fronts of your knees or you can reach up to your ankles or feet. Find that belly to spine connection, navel pulling down to help facilitate that extension, that lengthening through the back of your body. Feel your low back press and expand, lengthening across the earth. One more breath here. And figure four, right ankle on your left thigh. Hands maybe catching the back of your left hamstring. Flex the your right ankle. Take a little rock from side to side. One more breath here. Keep your figure four for a moment. Just land your left foot down to the earth. Headed towards our eagle leg twist. You're gonna slide a right thigh to stack on top of the left. You don't need to cross at your ankles unless you like that sensation. Both knees are gonna to fall towards the left. Gaze tips to the right. I'm gonna keep the ego leg. So you're just gonna spin your sole of your left foot back to the earth so your knees are pointing to the sky. We're gonna slowly tip the knees to the opposite direction. So keep the same cross of your legs. Just let your knees tip towards the right. Looking towards the left. And then find those two slow intentional breaths. back through center, unwind your legs, place your right foot to the earth, maybe take a few windshield wipers side to side. Then you'll set up for your figure four second side, left ankle is going to stack on your right thigh, option to bring that figure four to your body. You flex your left ankle, find a little bit of movement from left to right, back and forth. A 
And final breath here. And then if you have that figure for four, pull towards your chest, release your right foot to the ground. Left thigh slides across for eagle legs. Let both of your knees fall over to the right to eagle leg twist. As gaze tips left, take two cycles of breath. From here, keeping your evil legs, just slowly start to tip your legs over to the opposite side. So left thigh still on top. Just gonna let the legs fall over towards the left. Gaze might shift over to the right. When we come back through center this next time, we're gonna unwind our legs. If you wanna take a few windshield wipers, feel free to add that in. And then we're going to plant the soles of our feet firmly into the earth, get really strong through your core, take your inhale. On exhale, bridge pose, begin to press the earth away and lift your pelvis to the sky. Be tucking your shoulder blades a little bit closer together. Be able to flip your palms, face open to the ceiling here. Finding that strength of your inner thighs as well. Imagine you have a yoga block between your thigh bones to hug into. That's going to help keep your low back more free and spacious. So we hug to center and root to rise. Take another slow, purposeful inhale. And then no rush at all and exhale will eventually bring your hips down to the earth. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet come together, knees fall open wide. Allow your hands to be land to your belly to feel your breath. Let's take three slow cycles of breath, breathing into your belly, rib cage and all the way up to your chest and exhaling from the top down feel your chest release ribs and then belly and two more breaths like that your three-part breath belly rib cage chest chest Rib cage, belly. You can choose to stay exactly as you are. Otherwise, we're headed to our Shavasana. So you can either just send your arms and legs out. Or if you wanted to hug your knees into your chest, maybe curl your nose up to your knees to find your cannonball shape first. And curl into a little ball, take an inhale. And then as you're ready, exhale to your Shavasana, releasing down into the support of the earth. The last few minutes of your practice. As you settle in and close your eyes, allow your entire body to sink into the support of the earth. Let yourself be held by your yoga mat for these last few minutes of your practice. Perhaps taking one more deep inhale through your nose. One more open mouth, exhale, let it go. Let 
I wanted to share this little excerpt again. Uncomfortable feelings that actually indicate you're on the right path. Discomfort is what happens when we are on the precipice of change. Unfortunately, we often confuse it for unhappiness and cope with the latter while running from the former. It usually takes a bit of discomfort to break through to a new understanding, to release a limiting belief, to motivate ourselves to create real change. Discomfort is a signal, one that is often very helpful. As you feel your breath moving through your body, let every breath out, every exhale invite you to sink a little bit deeper. Take a deep, deep breath in. And then just sigh the exhale out, let it go. Either staying exactly as you are, just honoring the hard work, balancing that with rest. Maybe bringing one or both hands to your heart to close your practice. And it's taking a moment to return to this intention of embracing the moments that feel sticky, knowing that on the other side, we are stronger and wiser. Okay. Honoring like, the fact that sometimes the uncomfortable feelings are actually a clear communication. The change is on its way or change is necessary. Something needs to shift. And holding that in our hearts as we move off of our yoga mats and into our days. We'll take a deep breath in all together. And one more open mouth exhale to release. May yoga offer us a path to compassion. And may our practices always serve as our teachers. Leading us to live with greater authenticity and to love more deeply each and every day. Thank you so much for being here and choosing to practice this morning. Namaste.